In this video, we're going to go through the steps in installing this dust right router table dust bucket, which I purchased from Rockler. I was going to incorporate dust collection within the design of the cabinet, but I thought it just might be easier to get the uh, dust right router table dust bucket from Rockler. So we'll start with that. So here's all the parts laid out. Now we'll start the assembly following the instructions. Start with this part. And this. Two screws. Note in the assembly, you have a choice of putting the side piece with the hole on either side, depending on where you might do it in your router table. In my case, it won't matter because I'm going to do it from the back. So for mine, I'll have dust collection from the back, so the side will be covered. But if you're doing it from the side, you have the choice of putting the side piece with the hole on either side. So now we do the front piece. This magnet was supposed to be embedded in here. That's better. So it's much more flush. Okay. Next step is to add the mounting brackets. Two screws for those on each side. And then the ports. For this one, there's a gasket. As mentioned, I'm going to be putting mine in the back. the vent piece. Again, screws. And that's it for the assembly of the box. Looks like the right amount of screws, everything lined up perfectly. Next will be to install it to the router table. Looks like they didn't provide the screws for that. 
instruction says number 10 or number 12 pad head screws. So I'll have to look for some of those. So I went to Home Depot to get some number 10 5 8 inch pan head screws. And I'll do the pilot hole. They give these gaskets to put on first. Screw broke. Just have to screw the holes a little bit bigger. I'll try to get that screw out. So make the holes slightly larger. Probably a half inch screws would have been better. I'm going to put a washer. This concludes installation of the dust right router table dust bucket. As you see in the front, there's a nice access door. It's latched with a magnet. On the side, there's a port to adjust the airflow. In the back, there's a Y connector. There's a two and a half inch port 
I bought this hose on Rockler also. It has a rotating connector here, easy connection to the router cable fence, and also you can remove it easy so that you can use it to vacuum around. The other end is the 4 inch dust port, and it's again with the dust right quick connect. Easily to go from tool to tool. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, it helps someone. There were some difficulties in drilling this top. Uh, it's very hard. Uh, just have to get the right pilot hole and get some strong screws. Other than that, the installation was quite easy. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Hope to see you again. Thanks for watching. Bye.